Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tina and today I'm going to get started on my November goals. Um, I do have some washi. I have some sticker, a sticker sheet that I did not use up yet. And I have my calendar um, for the month. So this is what I've been using for this year. And um, basically I am doing personal health, finance, a business and then on the back side I break it up by week and each week has um, generally a little bit from each category so let's get started I'm gonna put you on fast forward and let's get making our goals for the month Okay, so that is pretty much it for goals for this month. And now I'm going to um, work on my little decorations um, and my labeling for the month. So I have these and I've done this before on this. Um, and I don't really decorate too, too much, but I thought, you know, I really kind of wanted something really cute but I didn't want it to take a lot of time. And so I'm just using a bit of washi and I'm using um, some stickers that were left over from last month that I had uh, used and did not finish off the page. So that kind of just borders that. And I'm going to start this right here. Run that along. So you may have seen in my goals is to start working on some 2025 things. 
And it's about that time of year that we need to start thinking about those things um, as far as just starting to evaluate what worked for us and what didn't. And I will probably be making a video later on um, about my evaluation process as far as like <clears throat> what worked, what didn't, what needs to be right reprioritized. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the gold for right now on this one, but um, there's a lot that you need to look at from this past year and going into the future year. And it's okay to eliminate some things. If it didn't work, it didn't work. Don't make yourself, you know, feel like you have to keep going with the same system, even mid-year. I have quit things mid-year because they just, quite frankly, aren't working for me. Um, your planner is supposed to work for you. And if it doesn't, then stop. Um, yes, you spent money or find a way if there's a way to um, alter what you've done and what you can do. So I'm just going to... These are just the last three little pumpkins and I kind of just wanted to put them down here in the corner here. Nothing too fancy, just to give it a little bit more of a fall feeling. Um, but as I was saying, if, if what you're doing isn't working, stop and evaluate why. And <clears throat> then figure out what will help you and go from there. Um, what is going on with my planner? Okay, I see where it is. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what happened and what's wrong with my planner layout because, yeah, this is... Oh, I got it. Okay, I know what that is. <laughs> okay. So, I'm not decorating the back this time because I'm not sure what I'm doing with it and it might just end up staying that way. But, evaluate. Evaluate monthly. Evaluate yearly. And if you have to, if you're working on things and it's not working out, evaluate weekly or even daily uh, because th your planner is supposed to work for you and it's supposed to be a place to organize, a place to set goals, a place to keep you on track and to keep like your thoughts, you know, as far as like your to-do lists and projects and goals and your schedules for things and your family, make it work for you. Don't uh, make yourself stick through something that's not working. If you don't like your layout and you can't afford a new one, figure out how to alter that layout or use it in a different way. Um, so getting to the end of the year, we're starting to evaluate for 2025. If you haven't already uh, started to evaluate your previous year's planner and what you are going to change, add, keep, or um, just plain out, get rid of. Uh, so think about it and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.